Good afternoon everyone, this is Michael. I'm attempting this video for like the 50th time on my lunch, so I don't really have a lot of time left. But the point of my videos, I'm trying to get you a, real, a lot of really good information. And if you haven't checked out JH's videos, he has a lot of really good information. For those of you who have come from his page to mine, I thank you. I thank you for the subscriptions and the views. But today I wanted to go over the pros and cons of joining the post office. I wanted to get off the, uh, right off the bat, I want to get out of the way the cons. Uh, number one con would be no time off. When you first start, you're going to be working a lot of hours. You're going to not have a whole lot of days off. They're going to be sporadic at times. Um, number two, your supervisor is going to really try and rush you. They're going to try and get... A lot of work out of you in one day that's just gonna burn you out so it's gonna piss you off because you're going to get done with your whole entire route and then you're gonna be rewarded with more work so number three is going to other offices you're probably going to be going to other offices like I was at the beginning um, in your local area but just know that all these things, the no time off, the supervisors rushing you and going to other offices, it's just gonna, it's, it's basically going to be temporary until my last con that I'm going to get to and that's, you're going to work long days sometimes. That's even throughout the year sometimes with, you know, emergencies, uh, a truck breaks down or you all just don't have a lot of people to cover all the routes for the day. You're gonna have long days and especially once it comes to the holiday season you're going to be working a lot and long hours so those are things to look I, w I shouldn't say look forward to but those are the things that you should look out for when you're applying for the post office and when you first get into the post office now the pros are the pay is really good you start out at $18 an hour or around $18 an hour. Um, I know now there's some sort of benefit that you can get, like some sort of medical benefit that you get when, or you can elect to have when you first start the post office, so that's good. That wasn't offered to me when I first started. But once you do become a regular employee, you're going to get medical for sure, dental and vision. Um, and another pro is that what other job can you be in the office for two to three hours and then the whole rest of the day you're your own boss you're you're taking breaks when you want you're not told to you're taking your lunches when you want and I mean it doesn't really get much better than that because you don't really have anyone breathing down your neck um, and then the last pro that I have is the ability to move up in the post office you can from the time you join the post office within a year you can be doing what we call is a 204b and that's basically acting supervisor for the post office so uh, that that's really good not only is it better pay but i mean you get to start your experience as becoming a supervisor so that's really good and so to everyone who's watching if I've missed any pros and cons or if you have any questions or or comments or anything even if they're bad just leave them in the comments I really do appreciate it and I really look at all of them um, but bonus material for the end of this video as I wrap it up is what to not do when you first join the post office and I really have three key things to not do and those three things are don't steal, don't throw away any mail, and watch when you call out. So I know they talk about 90 day probationary period, so that means you can't call out sick or anything like that. And I know everyone has like emergencies or family functions that they wanna go to. And what I was told, but I'm not telling anybody to do that, but what I was told when I first started out is that when you look at the calendar and or you know that you have the possibility of getting denied, just call out. Because if you try and request it off 
and go through the proper channels of doing it correctly and then you get denied but then you're like well crap I still I still have to take that day off then if you bang out if you call out that day it's going to it's going to look bad and they might be able to give you like a, a letter of warning or a II or something like that so um, those are the things that I wanted to tell you guys about if you have anything else just leave it down below like I said and let me know what my next video should be about so anyway thank you again to everyone go check out JH's page he has a lot of good information and until next time bye